Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to Friday on the channel, which always means we have a live album ranking. And today we're looking at the live albums of a band from Salford, formed in 1980, and this is of course New Order. Now New Order were but the band that had regrouped after the disbandment of their previous band, Joy Division, following the sad suicide of lead singer Ian Curtis. Joining um, Bernard, Peter and Stephen was Gillian Gilbert. Um, they were uh, flagship of Band of Manchester for a little while uh, on the factory label and its nightclub. The... And they have released six live albums. So we're going to have a look at them. So coming in at number six. Now I don't know if this is <laughs> a strange chart title. So I'm going to put it up on the screen. And it's New Order and Liam Gillick. Now Liam Gillick was born in Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. It's a British artist who lives and works in New York City. Gillick deploys multiple forms to make visible aesthetics that constructed and examine ideology control systems. I don't know what we have. Very good. <laughs> so this was actually uh, recorded at the Manchester International Festival on the 13th of July 2017. And there's a couple of tracks that were done on another date, one on the 6th of June and the other on the 15th of June. So the playing on here we have got Bernard Sumner on lead vocals and guitars, Stephen Morris on the drums, Gillian Gilbert on keyboards, we got Phil Cunningham on guitars who's been part of the band since 2001 and Tom Chapman who's been with the band since Peter Hawke left and he plays bass. So this one opens up with a track off Republic. Time change. Times change. It's okay. Yeah, it's not bad as a live section. Then we go to the Waiting for the Sirens Call uh, for Who's Joe. I must admit, these tracks do sound good live. Dream Attack from Technique. Not my favourite album, but the live version of it has got a little bit of atmosphere. Uh, Disorder, of course, is a track from Joy Division. Of the Unknown Pleasures album. Um, then we go to the Power and Corrupt and Lies for a bit of ultra violence. So the next track is a track called In a Lonely Place. Now this is recorded as Joy Division just before Ian's death and it's the B-side of Ceremony. It's not a bad track. Um, I don't mind it. I haven't heard much of it to be quite honest. All day and all night, all day long from Brotherhood. Shell Shock, which is a track they did for the Pretty in Pink. We go back to the uh, Waiting for the Sirens Call for a little bit of guilt is a useless emotion. Before we pop along for a bit of subculture from Low Life. Bizarre Love and Triangle, one of the si singles in the Battle Royale from Brotherhood. Vanishing Point from Technique. Plastic. From the Music Complete album, which is their most current album. Uh, we've got a little bit of Your Silent Face from Power, Corrupt and Lies. Then we go to a, the second Joy Division album for a bit of Decades. Elijah from Low Life. Back to Closer for Heart and Soul. And then they did the, they closed with the Behind Closed Doors, which is the B-side to Crystal. Although this is a, a, a live album, I think this lacks atmosphere. There's a little bit of clapping and a little bit of cheering. But apart from that, it's pretty lacklustre. Although the performance the sounds good, but as a live album, it doesn't sound like a live album for me. So I'm going to give that an RTO ranking of 3 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 6, released in 2017, is... NOMC15, it was recorded at the Brixton Academy in November of 2015. So it's Bernard, Stephen, Gillian, Phil and Tom. 
Now this opens up uh, the Come On Stage to a little piece of music by Wagner. And it's Das Rheingold, which is a lovely little piece. And that goes lovely into singularity for Music Complete. Pretty cool how they put and compromise that one all in. Lovely jubbly. Then they have uh, the single from 1981, Ceremony, which is pretty good. Then from Get Ready, we have a little bit of Crystal. Go to the Power, Corruption and Light album for 586. Then we have a little bit of Restless from Music Complete. Now these later tracks do sound um, pretty good live, I must admit. Um... So I'm not very keen on some of these later tracks, as you know. Um, then we have Lonesome Tonight, which is a B-side of Thieves Like Us. Your Silent Face from Power Corrupt and Lies, which is really good. Tutti Fruity and People on the Most High Line, People on the High Line for Music Complete, pretty cool. A really good version of Bizarre Love Triangle from Off the Brotherhood, of course. Waiting for the Sirens Call, pretty good. Plastics on here. The Perfect Kiss and Low Life, I don't mind that one, that's pretty good. And then a really good version of True Faith from 1987. Temptation, another single from 1982. Atmosphere, which is the last single that um, Joy Division recorded. A really great version of Love Will Tear Us Apart. And Blue Monday, which is always a little bit different live. Um... There's one bit on here um, that I find really thing. I think it's Berner saying when he says, oh, I was really glad to be here. He says it was so, <laughs> am I really glad to be here? Some nice playing on here, I must admit. Um, I, I've got no problem with this. Uh, so I'm going to give this an RTO ranking a 6 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 4 is the most current live album. It was released in 2021, and it's called Education, Entertainment, Recreation. Recorded on November the 9th, 2018, the only UK show of 2018 at Ali Pali. Uh, and playing on here, of course, is Bernard, Stephen, Gillian, Phil, and Tom. We open up with Wagner's Das Gold again. And they go straight into Singularity. Pretty cool from Music Complete. Then we have from Republic, which is a great album. I don't mind. I like that one. And um, Regret, great version of that. Low Vig Vigilantes from Low Life, pretty good. A really good version of Ultraviolence from Power and Corrupt. A very good version of the first track off Unknown Pleasures Disorder. Brilliant version. Yeah, it's absolutely killer track. Crystal from Get Ready, always a bit of fun. Academic from Music Complete, probably one of my least favourite tracks on the album, but I do like it live. You, your Silent Face from Power, Corruption and Lies, pretty good. A bit of subculture from Low Lie. But it's a love triangle from Brotherhood. A vanishing Point from Technique, it's okay. Waiting for the Sirens Call, probably one of the best versions of that I've heard. The best version of Plastic. The Perfect Kiss from Low Life. Then we go into some old classics. A bit of True Faith, which is fantastic. Blue Monday from 1983. Temptation from 1982. Atmosphere, that last track. And then Decades from Closer. And they clo finish up with Love Will Tear Us Apart. I think this is a very good album. I think it's one of my favourite later live albums there's mu there's more atmosphere on it i think ali pali is a great place to record as well and they just go through the band both joy division and new, new order um catalog really strong album so i'm going to give it an rto ranking of seven out of ten okay coming in at number three we have a bbc radio one live in concert and it was recorded at gladstonebury in 1987 this was released in 1992. So it's Gajillion, Peter, Stephen and Bernard. Opens up with a great version of Touch 
by the hand of God from salvation. Excellent version. Temptation, the single from 1982, probably the best live version of that. True Faith, absolutely wonderful on here. Uh, single, excellent stuff. And then your Silent Face from Power of Corruption and Lies, like that. Every little count, every little counts from uh, Brotherhood. Excellent track. Bizarre Love Triangle, another good track. Perfect list. Kiss, brilliant. Age of Consent, very, very good track. Very good live from Power Corruption and Lies. Then they do a cover of the uh, Velvet Underground song from White Light, White Heat, Sister Ray, to close it out. That, that was the, and this is, I think, a great album capturing those early years the sounds a little bit off but it's just i think it was when it was recorded and when you record outside you've got the elements to battle with and i think it's not a bad little album so i'm going to give it an rto ranking of 7.5 okay coming in at number two uh released in january 2012 and it was recorded on the 10th of December 2011, and it's live at the London Troxy. Um, this is the uh, this release was the first since the band decided to reunite with its new lineup, featuring the return of Gillian Gilbert and Tom Chapman replacing Peter Hall. So this one opens up with Aliga or Elegia. I can't don't know how they pronounce that from Low Life. Probably one of the best little versions of that I've heard. Um, Crystal from Get Ready, excellent track. Then we have Regret from A Republic, very, very good version. Then we have, of course, Ceremony, a great song from Joy Division. And it was actually uh, a B-side of New Order's debut single. Uh, Age of Consent from Power, Corruption and Lies, pretty good low life, excellent. Love Vigilantes on that. Then we have Crafty from Waiting the Sirens Court. I do like that. Then we have uh, the B side of True Faith, 1963. I've never heard that track, to be quite honest, and it's not bad at all. But a love, the bizarre love triangle from Brotherhood. True Faith, excellent version on here. 586 from Power, Corruption and Lies. We've got all the usual suspects now the perfect kiss and low life. Temptations on here. Blue Monday, Love Would Tear Us Apart. It must have been a hard show for them because it's one of the first shows without Peter Hook. So, introducing a new member of the band. Some really good songs on here. So, I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.6. But my favourite uh, live album, and I think it's the one that's got the best sound, the best set... And everyone seemed to be really up for this one. And it's live at Bestival, recorded in September 2012, at the Bestival Festival, which is held at Robin Hill on the Isle of Wight. It was released on the 8th of July. So it's Bernard, Stephen, Gillian, Phil and Tom. So they opened up from uh, Low Life, Elijah. Probably the best version. Regret from Republic, again, probably one of the best versions I've heard of that. Then from Closer, from Joy Division, Isolation, it's really, really good. Great track. Um, Crafty from Waiting for the Sirens. And then they have uh, from the Here, Here to Stay, which is from the 24-hour Party People album, which... Uh, Michael shows quite a lot, and it's one of the tracks off there, and it's okay, bizarre, love triangles on this one, pretty cool again, very part of the set, isn't it, 586, some power and corruption, pretty good, the perfect kiss again on here, a bit of true faith, the single, Blue Monday, Temptation, and Transmission, a single from Joy Division, which is absolutely brilliant on here, Love Would Tear Us Apart, I th as I said, I think this has got everything going for it. The sound was brilliant, considering this is outside. It's got some nice to hear, some little different tracks from Joy Division as well. Some well put work together, and the album, the band actually seemed engaged with their crowd, which they don't seem to when they're on when they're on stage. 
I get this impression. I don't know. I don't know why. But I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Okay, so there's a little bit of live uh, Blue Monday. Um, coming up next is a new album review, and it's the new album from The Cure. The Cure, of course. Uh, Songs of the Lost World, which is an excellent album. So see you soon. Bye for now.